Hey, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video. Um, today's example is the SDKFZ-234, which was a, uh, a eight-wheeled armoured car developed by Germany and used during World War II. It was used on both the Western and Eastern fronts, uh, proving useful in recon and infantry support roles. So this, uh, it was produced from 1943 to 1945 and around 478 were built in all its variants, including these ones. Uh, which were the SDKFZ 234-2 Puma. Um, and what's better than one Puma? Two Pumas. These usually um, worked in pairs, so I thought, why not uh, do a video of a pair of them anyway? So, And uh, this one is from Atlas here, and this one is from Eagle Moss, and both of them cost me um, $24. They're both full die-cast and both 143rd scale. So, obviously, you can see, what we'll do is we'll... Uh, We'll put the Atlas one, we'll do the Atlas one first. So we'll put the Eagle Moss one to the side and we'll concentrate on the Atlas one. So as you can see, the 50mm main armament there in the turret and um, it's got a coaxial MG42. So here's a bit of, a bit of a pain to open. So we'll, yeah, we'll get this bad boy and have a, have a bit of a look. So it does come in a uh, nice acrylic perspex uh, cover so you can display it straight off there. Um, yeah, as per usual, it does have that special screw in there. Um, there's no tape holding it, so what we'll do is we'll take that cover off, put it to the side, and we'll just have a look at this beast. As you can see, the detail on it is really nice. The, the turret does manipulate, which is pretty cool. Doesn't The main gun doesn't elevate or anything like that. As you can see, the three-tone uh, colour scheme is very, very well applied. Detail-wise, it's, it's got some really nice details. Little stowage boxes and everything like that. Some tools on the back. Unit markings clearly displayed there. It's got some nice detail on the engine deck. Turret's all pretty nice. It's, it's, overall, it's, it's a you know, I think it's a pretty pretty good example. It's very very well made. I think it's very well made anyway. Yeah, and for the price of paid, you know, virtually say we'll just say twenty five bucks <laughs> Australian. And uh, that was delivered to my door. I bought this in a pack with a couple of other models, so the postage was uh, dispersed across those six models that I bought at the same time. But nonetheless, it's a uh, pretty pretty good value. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll put this bad boy down and we will have a look at the second one. What do you reckon? So this one is the uh, Eagle Moss version. Um, different unit, obviously, different markings. So same, uh, same deal with the screw. We'll try and get this open a little bit better than fighting in the box of the Atlas one. This side as well. I thought it might just peel off nicely. Okay, so there we go. Hold this open. <laughs> so as you can see, it's similar to the other one. Not identical, so you, you can tell them apart quite easily. The markings and colour scheme is different. This one has a, a little bit more detail on the uh, base plate here, as it says. It's got details of the division it was uh, in, and uh, the location, and the year. So, you can see the nice nice turret markings on there. It's got the beautiful turret number. Like The, the camo and the paintwork on these are uh, quite well done. I know. I'm, I'm very happy with them. I can't complain. Details of the wheels are really nice. Forgot to check, you know, oh, that, you know the wheels do, do roll. Um, but yep, unit markings on this one, nice place, license plate markings, stowage boxes are nice, detail on the engine deck, same deal. Very, very, very well made. But both both models are very well made and are fixed to a base and come in acrylic uh, cases as well. So you can uh, you pretty much buy these, chuck them straight in the shelf, and uh, these bad boys won't get dusty on you. So you don't have to put them in a display case or anything like that. Just, Leave them in that acrylic case they come in. 
and um, have them on your desk or wherever you want to display them. But um, no, I think that's yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll chuck this, this this one down. We'll grab the uh, Atlas version back, and we'll just do a we'll just do a check on that one. Make sure yeah, wheels manipulate on that as well. And we'll just put these both down to compare the compare the two, compare the pair. As you can see, you know, I think they're pretty cool, but that's just me. <laughs> As I say, you know, these are all just my opinions, um, but I, you know, I definitely think these are both, you know, pretty good bit of kits. Very, you put them together, virtually identical. So look, to be honest, I don't know if they're made in, in the same factory and just sold by different companies. As I said, this one, this one is Eagle Moss, that one is Atlas. But um, they're both great renditions, um, both well made. Uh, I, I definitely, yeah, I definitely recommend grabbing one if you're into into your armor, and especially, you know, if you're into your 143rd armor. So what I'll do, as per usual, after this video, I will uh, chuck up some still photos of these two bad boys, and uh, without my sausage fingers in the way, and uh, you can check them out. So yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed this video, a little bit of a bit of armor, and um, yeah. Give us a like if you can, you know, spare the time to do that click and even subscribe if you want to, you know, check out more, more from this channel. So, yeah, thank you very much for coming to watch the video and you have a great rest of your day. Cheers, guys.